It's a beautiful Monday morning and you just received another RFP with a requirement to have your design be carried out in a BIM model. And you're once again asking yourself and your team if we should finally switch over from CAD to Revit. It just seems like more and more projects these days have this requirement of BIM, but everyone here knows CAD. Everyone here is very familiar with CAD. What do we do? Do we just keep going and just uploading our CAD software? to BIM or do we finally make the switch? We just don't know, but we don't really wanna switch, but we don't wanna get left in the dust at the same time. What's going on everybody? My name is Carter and that little skit is probably something you have asked yourself a ton in the last year or so as Revit for landscape architecture has seemed to make more and more of an impact and has seemingly increased in popularity tenfold in the last few years. So if you're like me, you're probably here as an AutoCAD user wondering why you should switch to Revit or if switching to Revit is even worth it. This is something I've asked myself a bunch and is what inspired me to do my own research and find my own answer as into what I think is the future for us and whether or not I should start to make the switch soon. So this video is gonna be all about sharing those discoveries and my opinions on where I think our field is going. So. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the video. So in order for us to properly talk about this video, I think we need to make sure that we lay the groundworks and have a clear understanding of what the two programs do. So let's start with CAD. Now CAD is primarily going to be used for drafting and for documentation purposes. And what I mean by this is that we are using CAD for the purposes of 2D things. So this might be a plan, a section, details, uh, planting plans, our schedules for the plants, or documentation sets, you know, construction documents, design documents, bid sets, you know, all those things are gonna be happening within AutoCAD as a documentation and drafting format. So it's important to note here and what to remember here is that this is a tool for drafting and documenting. So this really does not get into the modeling and some of the larger information gathering systems that we have in place that we use for different things in landscape architecture. Now Revit, on the other hand, is a building information modeling program. Basically this stands for BIM and it's a loaded term, but essentially everything you're drawing in 2D has these real world properties assigned to them, including three dimensional, which is where the modeling aspect comes in for Revit. So for example, if you were to draw you know, a post for a pergola in CAD, you would draw the outer extents of the line, maybe apply a hatch and carry those over in multiple different documents. And they would be you know, your designated post and beam hatch and material. Whereas in Revit, all you'd have to do is navigate to find the asset of the post and you would carry that through and have all these things tied to it, not only three dimensionally in terms of the model, but also, you know, how much surface area that's taking and some of the other loads and sort of things that you would need down the road in your design process when it becomes a reality. So this means that the capabilities of Revit are gonna be much greater than CAD because it has the drafting and documentation purposes built in, but it also has you know, the modeling and information gathering strategies in place that makes it totally different from using CAD. This is why I wanna talk about it because if you wanna just compare the two flat to flat, you know, what they can do capability wise, obviously Revit is much more capable of a program in terms of power and things you can do with it as opposed to CAD. So instead of going that route, I wanted to look at the route of functionality and how it's gonna be used for us during the day as a landscape architect to see which is really gonna be better for us in the long run. So from this, I did a ton of research, you know, had my own personal experiences with Revit and CAD as well. And that's kind of what made me break it down into a couple of these different categories that I'm gonna break down now. And the first category we're gonna talk about is actually that capability. And to no surprise, you know, my conclusions here is that they're both incredibly capable of completing a project. And I think that's what's most important. Either program you choose is gonna be great for taking a project from beginning to end. I think where this differs is in kind of the, the foundation of landscape architecture you're doing. So for example, if you worked in a residential firm, you know, you're not really working with a lot of different disciplines. You don't necessarily need to have this whole built out model that's gonna get carried through for multiple years. 
because the project is happening much faster. So maybe you don't need Revit for those bigger purposes because you're not collaborating as much. Whereas if you were in you know, a larger firm or just doing a lot more commercial work, you're gonna be much more involved and have a longer project timeline, which is where I think Revit really shines because it has those capabilities to kind of work together in a larger role. But again, you know, Revit still has those modeling capabilities and it might be incredibly useful to use around your site in the residential format as well. So I think in terms of capability, it comes down to, you know, what you really need to be using it for and what you ultimately at the end of the day, 10 years down the road, will be needing that program to do for you. But as expected, you know, that's just one category and that doesn't leave us with the full picture. So to get a better picture, let's now look at some of the functionality differences between the two programs. And for functionality, I think Revit actually takes a slight edge here for a couple different reasons. One, I think a huge thing as designers is, you know, finding better ways to save time so we can have time to do the things that we're more interested in. And Revit upfront, you know, has this program that's kind of all in one. You can do the modeling, you can do the surfacing, you can do the drafting, the documentation, all in one place. And you're building something up from the ground up that you're gonna have that you can tweak later on really easily. And that itself is a really valuable, you know, function of that program that CAD just simply does not have. Now, of course, this is, you know, a double-edged sword because, you know, if you're putting all your eggs in one basket, you need to make sure that that program can do everything that, you know, six different programs that you can use otherwise can get you to the same place. So over time, I think Revit will get there and, you know, the assets will improve and some of the plugins and tools that they're working on now for landscape are improving. So I think, you know, over time we'll sort of get there and it'll really help free up some space for designers to kind of think creatively and actually spend more time designing rather than doing the documenting and going back and forth between disciplines. The second thing I think that's really important here in terms of functionality is actually what other you know disciplines are using. I think you'll find that in most cases now most people are using Revit and this is really important and it's really not just because that's what they're using it's more about you know BIM being a live working model. And if you can be involved, if landscape architects can be involved in that process the entire time, you know, we can hold more people accountable for what we're doing because they'll always have our drawings and they'll always be able to see what we're working on rather than, you know, playing catch up or getting, you know, models from them after the fact and then making, you know, adjustments as we go, as you get information. Whereas, you know, now we can be, you know, on the forefront working with them and being more involved in conversations because we're looped in with that live model. To me, this is a huge factor, especially with commercial work. I know in my experience, I've had lots of times where, you know, the coordination isn't exactly there and things get missed and they keep getting carried, carried through and all of a sudden you're getting you know, you're trying to build something and you're having all these issues because, you know, the coordination just wasn't there. And if it could have been, if you've been involved in Revit and they, you know, have been seeing your backgrounds constantly and not giving you an architecture background two days before the deadline, you try to fix a bunch of stuff, give it to them. They don't even really look at it, keep going. And, you know, it's a snowball effect. And for that, I think it's a really great tool. Now, aside from those big picture ideas, you know, functionality, capability, let's talk about, you know, the daily workflow and which workflow is going to be more efficient and better for us to use. And for this, I don't think there's a winner here. I think, you know, both are really great, but they are so different in what they can do. And that's what ultimately makes that workflow a little bit different. Because I think CAD is a very, you know, <laughs> straightforward program, if you can even call it that compared to Revit. So, you know, your daily workflow is gonna be a lot faster where you can be building things out and drawing things very efficiently, very quickly, and going back and forth into other things very effectively. And it's straightforward to use, it's easy. Most of us have been using it for many years now. So it makes sense to use that for a lot of things. But on the flip side and where it kind of gets tricky is that Revit, while it takes a lot longer to set up the model because you're building something from scratch out in terms of, you know, not only the documentation like you would in CAD, but also all those other information and modeling things that you're doing from beginning to end. So I think over time, if you had a long project that didn't have a lot of changes and things like that, Revit would actually be better because 
once it's built up to a certain point, once it has this base, changing things become really easy and it updates everywhere. You know, if you have information or, you know, planting schedules, all those things automatically update. And there's ways to do that in CAD, but a lot of times in CAD, if you have to go back and make revisions, you gotta do it there. You gotta chase it down over here, chase it down over here and over here. And it just gets confusing if you have a long project that, you know, has some time between those revisions. So I think, it's really hard to answer which one is better. I think it comes down again to, you know, how you're gonna be using it and, and what you want to do with that program. And the last category I think that's, you know, really important to consider is, you know, the growth opportunities. And I think Revit, again, is gonna be the winner here because if you just think about it, I mean, CAD's been around forever and I think it's, you know, kind of hit its ceiling in terms of capability without going a total rehaul to kind of be on a Revit-esque level. I think that's not what CAD is about at this point. I think CAD is really great and it's kind of hit its own area. Whereas Revit has all these new opportunities at itself and it's presented with, you know, a really nice future in mind. Sure, you know, a couple of years ago, Revit was just straight up not usable for landscape architects. You couldn't do the landscape modeling. You couldn't play with topography. Things with curves just didn't really work well with Revit. But there's been a lot of plugins and tools that have been added to Revit to make landscape architecture a lot better. And I think they're gonna to continue to do that because I think Revit, you know, would obviously wanna be more of a monopoly and kind of have everyone working within their program. So the more they can do to make it better for every single discipline, the better. And I think they're gonna do that. So I think over the course of five, 10 years, you know, this program is really just gonna be so versatile for you know some of these really large scale projects that we're working on now. So to wrap this up, I think there's no better way than to ask yourself the basic question of what are you trying to get out of the program? I think that's the most important thing. I think asking yourself that will help give you the answer of whether or not you should learn Revit or just hang out in CAD till, you know, the end of time because CAD has been killing it for so many years. But what do you think? Do you think that you should switch from CAD to Revit or do you think you should stay in CAD? I'd be really curious to see what some of your thoughts are because, you know, just from doing my own research um, and reading a bunch, you know, either on Reddit or other platforms, this is an incredibly, you know, debated topic and I'm just interested to see, you know, what some of my followers think as well. But yeah, those are my discoveries on this subject. So if you found this helpful, useful, interesting, um, be sure to give this a thumbs up and do all those other typical YouTube things. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.